I don't know if y'all saw my story, but I manifested Thor for myself, and look who I have now, Kyle, aka Thor. Chris Hemsworth and Kyle, it's like the same person. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to another Cotable Kelsey. Get on the couch, get comfy, because we're about to get into it. Do you like that? I added a little pizzazz to my intro. Son and dance. Kyle, you should dance in the beginning. That is what we need. We need a Kyle dancing across when I'm doing my intro. Just have you just like do the shuffle or something, slide by. I've got great ideas. He just won't do it. Like this video if you want Kyle to dance. <laughs> All right, here we go today. Oh my gosh, just when you thought the Bradison roller coaster ended and you were out of the park? No, you're coming back into the park. You are buckled in front row seats to the Bradison roller coaster of a relationship. That is Addison Ray and Bryce Hall because the drama is continuing. Hmm. A lot of speculation arose that Addison Ray and Bryce Hall could possibly be back together just after a month of breaking up with one another. They made headlines once again after being spotted together multiple times. Now, the first time that we spotted them, they were in the same friend group with the same people at the same time, at the same place, and it was a very small close quarters. Then we saw another short video that was posted on the TikTok Room Instagram account of what looked like Bryce and Addison on an escalator, but it was just in the backs of them, and then his arm was around her, and then he kissed her on the cheek. But we couldn't get too excited because Bryce came in quick to defend himself and Addison, saying, quote, WTF, that's not us. And honestly, Bryce, you're wearing the same thing. That looks exactly like you from behind. I think it's you. So if it wasn't Bryce and Addison, then why did Bryce go off on Twitter? Bryce tweeted, quote, I'm about to explode, man, and quote, me, telling me you love me, and then sneaking around with someone else, that hurts. Bryce is going through it. If you didn't think he was, yeah. I mean, just based off the tweets themselves, he's going through it. Maybe they were rekindling their romance this past weekend since they were together, hanging out with the same friend group. Maybe a little something something happened. But then, the other thing happened. So apparently, fans caught Addison hanging out with rapper Jack Harlow that same weekend. So, photos were taken and posted on the TikTok Room Instagram account showing Addison and Jack in the same photo together, and then what appears to be her hand on his stomach or uh, chest area. Then also there was some of them at a basketball game together. The person who did send in the photo of them said that Addison was with Jack the entire time and she liked his recent post in under a minute. And then Bryce actually liked the TikTok Room's post. So does that mean he agrees that Addison and Jack might have a thing? Then, after all this went down, Addison spoke her peace. She said her truth and she literally tweeted, quote, I'm single. So, simple, to the point, shutting it down real quick. But the Hollywood Fix paparazzi did catch up with Bryce soon after, asking him about, you know, how he and Addison are back, if they're back on good terms. And Bryce responded with, quote, uh, I think everything's out there on the internet. Which then brings me to the Sway Life episode. The Sway Life episode that was released on their Instagram account where Bryce shared the reason Bryce's reason as to why he and Addison broke up. Basically, he said that everything was just brought to social media, which he wanted it to stay private. He said that he did not cheat, yet again, but she did not trust him, so that's what ultimately led to the breakup. To me, Bryce saying all this in the Sway Life episode, it was really like alluding to the fact that she broke up with him because she called him her ex-boyfriend in that interview. So they broke up behind the scenes, but he's saying that she didn't trust him, so he broke up with her because he did say that they <laughs> broke up with her. I'm really trying to get this all together because some things aren't adding up to me. I need to put a diagram together. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. <laughs> Bryce basically ended the episode saying, quote, I'm always gonna respect Addison, but just going from dating, kissing, all that stuff, and then after a relationship, it's hard to just like remain friends. So it seems like we know that this episode was filmed a while back, clearly because they broke up a month ago, but Bryce did say on that BFF's podcast that he and Addison talk almost like every day after the breakup. So the fact that he's saying this on the Sway Life episode, that it's hard to remain friends, and then all this happening most recently with the whole rapper Addison situation, I really think this really might be the end of for Addison. I'm probably gonna look back on this in five months and be like, what was I thinking? Bradison for life, Bradison staying together, back together. But I mean, this is their second breakup. This is a lot of drama. I think both of them are gonna be moving on pretty soon. 
Okay, now that my brain hurts, moving on. To some new relationship news, Billie Eilish might have a new boyfriend. Ooh, ooh. At least based on photos that were released online, which you should go look at because I clearly can't show them. Fun stuff. The pictures that were taken were of Billy and Matthew Tyler Vorce in Santa Barbara over the past weekend. So Billy and Matthew were seen walking Billy's dog and grabbing coffee. Her dog's name is Shark, by the way, and that's such a cute name. Ocean and Shark. Playdate, Billy, hit me up. <laughs> Okay, so the pair kept it pretty casual and low key, but at one point Matthew put his arm around Billy and she rested her head on his shoulder. Hmm, seems kind of like a romantic move, but also there was no like big PDA, just like an arm over her. No big deal, friends do that, friends do that, you never know. But since this is brand new information, who is Matthew? So, according to his IMDB, Matthew appeared in the TV movie Mother May I Sleep With Danger, and he's also one of the creators of iHeart Media's new horror podcast, Searching for Putty Man. Ooh, John Birch told, let me know if you know who this guy is because I know you love horror. Matthew put his Instagram onto private on Monday, so maybe it's a sign. I don't know, but you can still see in his bio, which reads, quote, actor, writer, degenerate Los Angeles. So that's all you know about Matthew for the time being, but do know that Billy and Matthew's people denied comment to page six who broke the news. I just hope Billy's happy, that's all that matters. Maybe we're not expecting confirmation anytime soon, but I'm just gonna dock over these pictures and how cute they are and how much I love Billy being blonde. Billy, stay blonde, blondes have more fun. Am I right? Okay, last but not least, I have some tea. It's all about Olivia Rodrigo, Joshua Bassett, and Sabrina Carpenter possibly being friends now. Yes, all of them being friends. The love triangle turned friend triangle. There's not much evidence, but I have some evidence. So I'm bringing this to light because I need all of your guys' help. DM me all of the gossip that you have because now, according to a source from Dumois, the Instagram account I talk to you guys about all the time where Kyle's like, Kelsey, what are you doing? I'm like, Kyle, stop, I'm gossiping and leave me alone. That Instagram account? Someone wrote in asking, quote, but that love triangle surrounding driver's license was really a thing? And the response was, quote, I don't know, but I heard all three of them were on a Zoom together recently, so I'm guessing there is no ill will. Then there were even more responses to this saying, quote, LOL, they weren't on a Zoom. The picture going around is an edit. And then another person commented, quote, it was death real. So I can't find this picture. I searched, 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 could not find it. Do I also see them all on a Zoom together? I don't know if I believe that either because what are they talking about? <laughs> The only thing I could think would be Joshua and Olivia being on together doing a High School Musical, the musical, the series, season two, like preview or talk or press. But why was Sabrina in it? I'm so confused if this is true. Like, what's it about? Ah! Some more tea came from another source saying, quote, Dua Lipa asked Olivia Rodrigo to open for her on tour and she said no, not sure why. My theory is she's holding out for Taylor, aka Taylor Swift, aka Olivia's biggest dream collab ever. Like we all know Olivia's long love fandom standum for Taylor. So if that were to happen, that would be absolutely epic. And we know that Taylor knows of Olivia. She's reposted her before, she shouted her out. <sighs> I hope I'm manifesting this for Olivia because I don't know if y'all saw my story, but I manifested Thor for myself and look who I have now, Kyle, AKA Thor. Two pictures, Chris Hemsworth and Kyle, and it's like the same person. <laughs> okay, wow. Look how excited I am about the tea. That is just, the perfect way to end today's Caught Up with Kelsey. So let me know down in the comments below who you guys want me to talk about next week. Thank you all so much for watching another Caught Up with Kelsey. Make sure to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. And make sure to check out at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more and at Caught Up with Kelsey for more. Please DM me with all your tips, gossip, all the tea because you know I'm gonna be talking about it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.